Shane, get the fuck over here. What? I didn't do anything, man. Jaeger, you want to talk about player. these uh, anonymous complaints that are coming between these two? No, nope, so, I don't got any against. I don't know what you're talking about. Mainly, so the two, the two <laughs> most complained. Let me check my notes here. One sec. I, the two I most complained about shit. people in this shop. Wait, wait, wait. We're in HR. Is... You have a pen. I need to click one. Click, click, click the pen for uh, me. Go ahead. Okay, go so, ahead. So the two most complained <laughs> people in this shop are, without a doubt, uh, Mr. Eddie Marshall and Miss Claire Seducer. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Let me check the notes real quick, and I'll tell you exactly why. Eddie Marshall, he. Let's see here. Ah, uh, here we are. Oh, we Again, ignoring his CFO. Okay. He was ignoring his CFO for two months with text uh, proof. He was harassing a customer. He drove into the shop, going at speeds upwards of fifty, ramming Who a light. This? Eddie. Uh, Eddie Marshall. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh my God. And he was going to receive four strike points for this, but he went on a blind date instead. Uh, Who was the date? I don't with? know how that turned out. I do not know. Tommy set him up. Okay. Now, now what about Claire? And then Wayne Claire, put the head on the girl he was with. And that's Claire, the story? Had, <laughs> Claire had three anonymous reports of punching someone. Uh, Claire, do you want to talk about that? I never punched anyone. Whoa, whoa, we don't accept violence here at the tutor shop. I didn't punch anyone. They're all lying. Why don't you go forward with the complaint? Let's read it all out, Jaeger. Come on, let me hear it. All right. Ooh, sounds good. It's, it's exactly. Right. There's Darkness. no complaints. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> all right. Exactly, Jaeger. I you fully agree with you. Here, We're Jaeger. Here. What's going on? We're good here. All sorted. Thank you, You're guys. You're free to go, Claire. You're free to go. Have a good Prince one, guys. of Darkness, you are a savior. Thank God, You made man. the workspace an even safer place for me to be. Thank you, sir. And then told me I was poor and couldn't buy one of the tuner cars. Oh, well, we could not hear any of that until I was poor into a tuner car. What? Yeah, we didn't hear no, anything no you just fucking said. Hang on yeah, you. That's the, yeah. Oh, yeah, someone came up. Anonymous report. Claire called someone a stupid cunt, a slut, and that they were too poor to buy a tuner car. That was from mm. er, uh, Anonymous. Uh, yes. Mm. Okay, Claire said that to somebody. Uh, yes, that was hey, an anonymous who, who's report. Who's the uh, anonymous report? Uh, well, uh, it was Tony. Tony, what who? The fuck. Uh, Clyde. <laughs> Tony Corleone. Uh, yes. Okay. And then Shane here uh, reported a. Claire Seducer a HR office. Claire Seducer HR office. Did you tell somebody that they were a slut? <laughs> what? No. Oh my god. No, I didn't. Why the fuck uh, would I call someone a s I actually I have another no, HR. No, play. not talking about me. He's not talking about me. Good try though. Somebody no, else. Did you I tell know. somebody they were a cunt? No. Oh my god. No, what, I never used yeah, that word. You want to be that. truthful? I'm being I never used that word. Why would so I So you did not call Tony Corleone a cunt and also <laughs> poor. What? Like... No, I didn't. You did not go up to the speaking terms with Tony you... Corleone, so no, wait, I hold didn't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if this is a false report? Listen, I Ooh. haven't been on speaking terms with Tony Corleone in the past like week. So okay, I know I haven't. Okay, well, we have oh, to listen, Jaeger, Jaeger, we gotta continue this investigation. We have to talk to Tony, make sure it's all good. We have to see what the fuck talk is going on. Talk to Tony. I haven't talked to Tony okay. in like okay. a while. What's the other complaint? You said you want to file one right now? What's going on? Oh, with that? never mind, never mind. I'll say that for a rainy day. All right. Um, what? Shane, what's going on? We have, multiple huh? we have multiple complaints about Wayne. One from a Mr. Leslie. Okay. Uh, let me get this here. Is Wayne here? No, he's asleep. I'm not sure. Huh? Mr. <laughs> Mr. Leslie complained that Wayne smells like shit. Uh, Whoa. smokes oh, too much know? inside of the store, which is dangerous. I mean, he's not wrong. And and hates his ugly mustache yeah let's throw that one out yeah he's kind of not wrong fuck Leslie. and the last thing here is wayne was telling people that mr leslie was showing his penis to people in the tuna shop really leslie was doing this 
yes, that is what, uh, that was Mr. Leslie's complaint about Wayne. Oh, what the? Any Marshall, HR office, any Marshall, HR office. Oh my God. Now, we <laughs> did contact Mr. Wayne about this. We made him shave his head, his eyebrows, and his beard. And he's walking around like that for now. We gotta see. We, maybe this is how he Sorry, was raised. Bro, bro, to the HR office. Give me the now, it was also yes, Eddie it was. did some more shit. Eddie, Eddie, um, why don't you just Jaeger yeah, relay what you just told me about Wayne? So, Mr. Eddie, uh, I don't know if I told you this earlier, but Mr. Leslie had a complaint about Wayne. Again, that was. So tell him the last part. Second. He doesn't care about anything. Tell him the last part. What you just told me. Uh. Wayne was claiming that Mr. Leslie was showing people in the tuner shop his penis. What? Yeah, we might have to ban Leslie Lingberg from the from the tuner shop. Well, Wait, Leslie I, was. I I can confirm that he was not doing it, and Wayne was lying. Are so. you so because? Are you sure? Why are you saying that? Huh? Because I was there when Wayne was saying. Okay, all right, so then we're gonna strike Wayne for falsifying a report. All right, thank you so much, Eddie. Yes. HR, and take it from just, here. Just real quick, Eddie, uh, again, I know we talked about this before, but you kind of brushed it off, but we need to talk about this. Um, let's see. You need to get a hold on Marty, AKA Swizzler. He drove a car around here while cops were looking for him. You did not do anything about that. And he called you Uncle Eddie. What am I supposed to do? I told him not to drive. He's a kid, Jaeger. He's not, he you doesn't know what's him, right you, and what's wrong. You don't give him the keys. I didn't give him the keys. Then why the fuck is he driving around here calling you Uncle He's, Eddie when there's cops coming around? I don't know. He's a fucking child, Jaeger. He doesn't know what's He's right and what's wrong. Kid. He's, He's just only a 25. kid. Leave him alone. Okay. All right. Listen. All right. It's his parents. You know what? You know what? Yep. Nope. It's his parents. We, we like to give people second chances here. That's why we have the seven strike system. Right. Exactly. We got to talk to Wayne and we got to talk to Tony Corleone. Yeah, Eddie, thank you so much for coming to the HR office. No we'll problem. handle it from no here. Problem. Back off for your paces, kind sir. Get back to work. Shane, Shane, any complaints? Say Shane? <laughs> what? Shane, Shane, again? Shane, this, that's, that's your boss to... talking. You better watch out. You can fire all of us. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Eddie. You're doing a fantastic job. We care about you. Remember that. We care about you, Eddie. Are you Good job, Bobby. Know, Jaeger? Yeah, we're in an HR. It is the right HR now. department, Glorion. No. Everything alright, Glorion? Customer I, service yeah, good? Yeah, I'm good. Do I all need right. to someone the keyboard today? No, no, not yet. We might have to hit it. Not yeah, yet. we gotta, yeah. We gotta talk okay. to Tony Corleone and uh, Wayne. Currently. All right, all right. Let me know. Thanks so much. Jaeger, anything else you need from me? Uh, no, that's around. about it. That okay. is about it. Mainly people just uh, complain about Claire Seduce Marshall. Okay, we gotta, we gotta silently just... monitor Claire and then make sure everything's going on good. Right. Okay. All By right. the way, we need and, to make an Shane... example out of somebody to let, no, let everybody know HR's not fucking around. All right. We oh gotta... yeah. Well, we made Wayne shave his head and eyebrows. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Was... I, I, an idiot. I, I think we really. I think we should fire Chip for like a day and then bring him back. We gotta okay, fire somebody. I mean, we gotta make an example. I'm just gonna let you know from now. We gotta fire listen, somebody. Uh, listen, you're the head of HR. I uh, no, you you do what you think is right. Um, I can't I can't tell you how to do it. You're you're above me. I cannot tell you right. how to do your we're job. Gonna, we're going to hire somebody just to fire them. Just to let everybody know HR is not to be fucked with. I'll find somebody. Absolutely. Excellent choice.